All right, so I got a mess going on. It's about 80 something degrees out. If you hear that rattling sound, it's the uh, old central air above me. Um, so I'm trying to fix this antique teddy bear. I just did a video about him and how I found him on eBay. He's upside down right now because I'm trying to sew some paw pads on him. So I cut a bunch of patterns out. I use paper. Um, I don't know if this is going to be precise, but I got a different colored felt. So I'm messing around with that. I got invisible thread, which is uh, very hard to thread. And I'm going to try to fix his paw pads. Let's see what happens. Hopefully this old fella will look better. All right, so I fixed him. Well, I didn't do a professional job, but I fixed a, I replaced a part of the paw pad. Well, pretty much the whole thing, but it really doesn't look that great. And um, I replaced this paw pad as well and restuffed it because it was missing the straw. I didn't do these. It was too much of a hassle. Um, I'm not very good at um, sewing and especially using invisible thread. It was so hard to thread the needle and to even knot it. Um, it was really a nightmare actually, but here he is. Um, I think he looks a little better. Um, not much better, but he's looking a little bit better. I gave him a little bow. Look how cute his little bow is. And uh, there he is, this very, very old teddy bear. Um, precisely how old, I don't know, but he looks to be a very early bear. Um, probably from the turn of the century, 1905 probably to 1910, I'm guessing. Um, I guess I'll never know. If you know who made him, please write it in the comments below. Could he be a Strunz bear? He does look a lot like a Strunz bear to me, but I've never had a Strunz bear. But from the pictures I've seen on the internet, he looks like a Strunz. If not, he could possibly be an American ideal bear. Um, he might not be German. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll find another old bear that's cute like this uh, really soon. So long.